over here. Doc, have you heard of this? What? That he's that suicidal headache thing? Yeah, it costs your headaches. Everybody has things to different degrees. But really with anything that you can present, any medical problem you can present, unless there's damage to your tissue. So mm -hmm. something somewhere is being damaged and inflamed. The good thing about stem is they shut down inflammation. They also grow brand new cells everywhere. So you know, we want you to make that list of all the different things that you think are abnormal so we can watch. Can you see a little pinch? pinch? A little sting? No, this will happen in a minute or so, but the sting is actually the action of numbing. Yeah, Kenny's done it five times already. Jerry's done it a few times, his partner. Yeah, what, like, when do you want, like, to repeat it. How Everybody is, is different, and the only true answer is if within a few months you see X, Y, and Z significant results, and you want to do it again? I mean, you can. Mm -hmm. They're only your cells, and the more you ramp those cells up, you're just making your body younger. There's a guy in the Bahamas, Peter Nygaard, who's done it once a year or so for five wow, years. Right. And he's well into his 80s, but he looks like he's in his 60s, and his doctors have done echocardiograms and all these tests to prove that his heart is functioning like a 60 year old man. So it's amazing to see how your body creates younger function. Feel a little pressure? Yeah, it hurts too. With, you know, brand new cells. Let's say your heart now is gonna have two billion new cells with pressure. that double all the time, and soon it's 500 billion cells. Right. So you're making your heart, your brain, your eyes, every part of your body a newer, younger organ. You're going to feel a pulling, like a drawing sensation? Yeah, it feels like I want to fart. <laughs> well, hopefully not. That's a first. No, 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 but it feels similar, I guess. Yeah, there are nerves that run through the area that make that <laughs> sensation. You know, funny. That's a but, first, right? Yeah. Everybody says they feel something down their leg. Ow. Sorry about that. It's okay. You're halfway done. It's just a um, a different feeling. If it was a c c c c chronic pain that I usually deal with, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, okay, this is just something I normally deal with. But because it's a, a it's a new yeah, it's, it's new. It's a new one. <laughs> right, you're doing great. You're almost done. So that's all bone marrow. Yes. Wow. It's good because this is very thick for him, so you get a lot of cells. Yeah. And then what does the centrifuge do? It takes the stem cells out of the thick liquid of bone marrow. Oh. So in your bone marrow, there's gazillions of red blood cells. That's why it's red. Mm -hmm. And antibodies, hold on, immune cells and stem cells. So the centrifuge at the 4,000 RPM spin takes the largest cells, as you might expect, and puts them in the bottom part of the chamber, because that's how mm -hmm. the spin occurs. Mm -hmm. So this was as quick as I think as we've ever done it, but- Enrique? You know, not that I would do with my eyes closed, but right. it's very easy to find that crest of the ileum. Yeah. Uh, numb it, you're letting the anesthetic numb the bone, and then just simple gradual extraction, and mm -hmm. you're done. So, yeah, that was, you know, that was very quick. So the beauty is that your cells are now, and those cells are always programmed for repair. Mm -hmm. It's like saying you have a crew of contractors and you're walking down the street and every house needs something different, but you have a hundred contractors behind you, electricians mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. plumbers and every supply you would need, every tool you would need, and now you're fixing a roof, fixing the pool, fixing the porch, you know. It's just going through to create repair everywhere. Right. I have so. a silly question. How come uh, your body, if you have new or, or healthy stem cells in your 
bone marrow? How come it doesn't just because they don't body? leak out in any significant numbers? They'll leak um, out a little here and there if you cut yourself to create the scab. Mm -hmm. You know, some people heal quickly, some people don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you take what would somewhere be one to three billion cells and you put them into a knee mm -hmm. and they're dividing mm -hmm. all the time, cells just divide all the time. And because their only job is to replace old with new cells, that's why it works so well. Um, that's why you have MS and Parkinson's patients that, you know, on our videos on the website, are out of a wheelchair in a month. Wow. Nothing in the world could do that. Yeah. Um, people will say, how do they know where to go? Well, degeneration of your tissue is a stimulus that stem cells are attracted to. Mm -hmm. So they go where the damage is, because that's how they were created, and they set up shop and replace old with brand new cells. Mm. So that's the beauty of it. Nice. Uh, we were talking about, like, he has sciatic and lower back pain. Mm -hmm. um, would you do, like, an injection as well, or just um, the IV? I'd rather get the full dose into the IV and nasal, because yeah. it can get to, you know, virtually every part except the joints, because you don't have big blood vessels into the joints. Mm -hmm. So doing oh, the right. nasal and the IV, you want as much brain repair mm -hmm. and as much organ repair as possible. Fair enough. So... I can tell you that the guys up on the res, the Native Americans like Kenny and those guys have had staggering numbers of stem cells, mm -hmm. like in the four billion. So when wow. the average person here has a billion, two billion, all the people that are native up there have much higher levels. Of course, they're big boned and they look mm -hmm. bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've met Kenny's son Ryan. He's you know gigantic, but I think because their ancestors lived in horribly harsh, cold environments. Mm -hmm. yeah, the the survival of the fittest and the body adapts. Right. That's why they have more repair cells because they have more mm -hmm. damage to deal with or had more stress in a variety of ways to deal with than people that so live down here. And physically and stronger blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, so and healthier. We had um, Kenny's son Ryan's ex-wife's grandfather came in, George, and he was diabetic in his 80s, and mm -hmm. his knees were shot because he damaged them. You know, an engine fell on his legs when he was working on a car, something like that. We did the stem cells, and within three months, he was non-diabetic in his 80s. Wow. So his doctor couldn't believe it. Dr. Coleman said, what is this? What happened? Mm -hmm. I said, stem cells. Mm -hmm. And he was able to walk into a... Uh, for you. Thank you. This is just oh, thank you. absolutely insane that this isn't, like, just first line of treatment. Well, think about what really happens if you have a massive coordination to control health and medicine, and the drug companies want lots of people on lots of meds, mm -hmm. yeah. and then the doctors, you know, are doing that for the drug companies, and the insurance companies are not paying the doctors much, so they see you for five minutes and throw meds at you, that's what the American medical you know, mechanism has become. Yes, there are certain amazing surgeries and ur urgent and emergent medicine, but so many people are taking five, ten pills as they get older, but the disease still progresses and they get worse. Mm -hmm. Like diabetics, they have the heart attack and strokes. When we do STEM and you're non-diabetic in two to four months and you're not on meds, mm -hmm. you're not going to have the heart attack and stroke risk. And then we track people too. So it flies in the face of the massive income of the powers that be, so they don't want this to exist. The first doctor doing research and calling it a stem cell when it was published was in Germany 150 years ago. So Europe's been doing it for over 100 years, and they've had you know outstanding results as well. Right. Granted, in South America, they use umbilical or amniotic fluid, which your body could reject because it's mm -hmm. foreign, or you don't know the genetics or the disease process of the donor, so that's right. not legal here. But these are your cells. Mm -hmm. This should be offered everywhere mm -hmm. so that people with all these diseases would do better. I think at some point the insurance will cover this because when you look at the cost of diabetes for a 40 or 50, 60 year old person, yeah. over a period of time, it's well over a million dollars. Doctors, visits, amputations, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna pay for stem cells so I can save a million or more dollars. So at some point it'll be covered. I'm gonna be back in with you in a second. No problem. Wonderful. Enjoy the oh day. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Be well.
We'll keep in touch and text and everything because I want to hear everything that's, that's happening. Sounds Thank good. You got Thank it. you. Are you still filming? Yeah, I oh. turned it off. Are you and shaking it off? I don't think so. How do you feel? Pretty, pretty good. Good. It hurt a little bit. Yeah. It be good, but it was more like an unfamiliar, and, and I really did feel like I had to fart. Mm -hmm. It was like pressure, and then when I guess he was pulling it out, like mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. you heard it go boop, boop, I immediately felt like this release of pressure, mm -hmm. like like I had farted, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the people watching this won't be offended by farts. Yeah, yeah. You can shut her down. <laughs> cool. It's like something I got in my toolbox. Yeah, it does. It looks kind of like a corkscrew. I'm getting the, uh, I, I'm getting the bone marrow. Uh, put in or stem cell yeah. from the bone marrow put, put, put in me right now so um, they gave me a job to hold it so that they yeah it's just because my vein properly. is being difficult Look, but, there yeah. it goes, there it goes. oh wow it literally just started this is history people this is the f first day of the rest of my life So cool. How you doing, baby? I'm great. Easy for me. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Very, very cool. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Ken. We are so excited about this. Thank you, very everybody. Hopeful. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Thank you, Bonnie and Joe, for taking care of our Annie Bobani while we're gone. And Dad. Yeah. And Dad. We couldn't be here without you guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. We love everybody. Thank you so much. Really, thank you. It's legal. This is a new kind of bomb. Some great news for a local man suffering from a debilitating affliction. As we told you earlier this week, Tom Turmer endures agonizing cluster headaches. It's a rare condition that requires specialized treatment. Q Mike Smith, also known as Bubbles from the hit TV series Trailer Park Boys, he created a GoFundMe campaign to raise money to send him to New York City to see a team of doctors. Today, Termir got to fly to the Big Apple for stem cell treatment and tweeted out a message of gratitude to donors as well as Bubbles. Is it recording? Yeah. I'm in a lot of pain, back pain from the incision, but they said that that's completely normal. Um, they said, what, a couple of days yeah. of discomfort? So. Oh, you gotta take your phone. Ow. So we're gonna have a first drink together, everybody. Cheers. Sure. I don't give a shit. How do you know this is focus? That's what I think. I think this is a fucking bad idea, but whatever. <laughs> Everything started with hold my beer and watch this. <laughs> Cheers. On my head. <laughs> it's got jokes. It's got jokes. All right, Dad, this one's for you. I'm in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. 
There's a guy working on building part of a set over to my right, um, constructing some stuff. I'm sitting on some uh, props. It's called a Bible Hill Correctional Facility picnic table. And to my left is uh, the van that was in the movie Swearnet. I'll show you in a sec. Ricky Shipmobile in the trailer and the Green Bastards car. And I'm just sitting here just so happy. So, uh, just reflecting on the last 15 years of my life, where I am today, it's hard to put into words. Anyway. It's supposed to be a positive video. So, um, if you're watching this, you're going through a hard time. Don't give up. Your life can change.